Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a first impressions slash tutorial on the new Life's a Drag palette by Manny MUA. If you don't know who Manny MUA is, which you probably do if you watch YouTube videos and if you love makeup, he is a makeup artist on YouTube and he created his own makeup brand, which is so amazing. And this is his first palette. This is his first launch. It just released like a week ago and I just got mine in the mail yesterday and I could not wait to film with it. So that is what I'm doing today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on in the video. Okay, so the palette retails for $45 and it comes in a unicarton like this. It's pretty reflective pink color. And it's got the Life's a Drag on the front. And then on the back it has a little note from Manny. And it's got all those little social media handles on the back. And then you take the unicarton. And this is the palette. Holy crap. Okay, first of all, I want to talk about how much bigger this is than I originally thought it was going to be when I first, like, was seeing it on people's Instagrams and stuff. I was like, oh, it looks kind of big. I thought it was going to be, like, the size of the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia or something like that. This is, like, triple the size of that. I just need y'all to know. This is, like, the size of my head. Okay. So, but this is Manny's face in full drag it's like this rainbow reflective packaging life's a drag on the front and then you open it oh, it comes with this little protective sheet and then this is what the palette looks like it comes with a brush which I think is really nice especially for $45 um, it comes with 14 shadows it's got a white and a black, which is great. It's got some great neutrals, some really bright colors, a few shimmers. And overall, I think he just, first impressions, I think he did an amazing job with this palette. I think it literally has everything you need. If you like color, if you like neutral, you can use this every day. You can add a pop of color to a neutral look. Um, it's got the white and the black, which I think is super important. Some great transition shades. And it comes with a double-ended brush, which I think is really nice. And it has a mirror. The mirror's kind of tiny, but it has a mirror. And yeah, I think he did a great job so far. <laughs> Haven't even used it yet, but just the packaging and everything gets an A+. Also, I wanted to mention that this is cruelty-free, which is a huge step for makeup, especially someone starting their own brand. I think that's amazing to make sure that it is cruelty-free. But yeah, so I'm going to do a few swatches and I'll insert them here and then we'll get on to the tutorial. So first I'm going to take some of my Tarte Shape Tape and just, just going to prep my eyes. So now that I've got that set, um, I'm going to try and use as many shadows as I can. So I'm going to take the white, which is Cake Face, and I'm just going to use that to set down the concealer that I applied. A slight bit of kickback but it's nothing crazy and it you know doesn't really bother me I've said that before unless it affects the way the eyeshadow performs it doesn't really bother me that does not seem to affect the way the eyeshadow will perform okay so I'm like don't even know where to begin I don't know what I want what I want to do first I think what I'm going to do is take Campy, which is that bright yellow shade, and start working that in my crease. Okay. 
I'm going to try and work lightly starting out that way I don't get too crazy. So I think it's really cool that Manny, you know, he obviously is a guy in the makeup community, in the beauty community, and you really still, I mean, it's a lot more popular now, or not necessarily popular, but you see more now, but, I mean, even now it's still pretty rare to see a guy in the beauty community, and I think it's really cool that he used what inspired him to do makeup, which is drag, and applied that to his first makeup launch which I think is really important like you want to go back to your roots and what inspired you in the first place and I really like that he did that so far so good and then with a smaller brush I'm going to take Kai Kai which is that really bright pink color and work that right in oh okay she bright Like I said, I have no idea where this eyeshadow look is going. I'm just trying to use as many colors as I can. Also, since this is going to be a little bit more of a bright colored look, if you want to see me do a tutorial or anything on like the more neutral colors in this palette, definitely leave a comment down below and I will do that for y'all. actually going to use, try and use the brush that came with the palette. I'm not going to lie, normally I don't like brushes that come with palettes. <sighs> to me, they're just not as good as, you know, brushes that I normally use, but I'm going to try it out and I'm going to take the color Snatched with which is this red color right here and kind of work that. I think I'm going to do like a halo eye type of look and I'm going to put that red in the inner and outer corner and kind of buff it up into the crease. These colors are all blending together really well and packing on top of each other really nicely. I feel like the yellow didn't disappear into the pink too much. Like There's still a nice gradient effect between the pink and the yellow. This brush isn't bad. It's probably not a brush that I would reach for. That wouldn't be the first one that I would reach for, but 
that's not to me what is important when it comes to this palette it's the eyeshadows so it's not bad at all it's better than some other ones that I've used in the past for sure so I went ahead and took some concealer and kind of made a halo effect and now I'm going to take the shade beat which is this one right here and pack it on my lid and see what happens uh, um okay I barely tapped my brush in that and it Wow, that is crazy. That needs zero fix plus. Wow. That's insane. And then I'm going to go back with that dark red snatch and kind of, and a little bit of Kai Kai, and kind of blend out those edges on either side of the shimmer. I cannot get over that color. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to lightly go back with some of Campy and just kind of blend out this top, bring back a little bit more of that yellow. I can't get over how well these eyeshadows blend together. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face makeup and then come back and finish the eyes and give my final thoughts. Okay, so I'm going to take this little flat brush and I think first I'm going to go into Kiki, which is this teal one right here, and just start buffing that in my lower lash line. Actually, I'm going to like pack it and try and get really, really close. Oh, just kind of some fall out a little bit. I think I need a smaller brush. I'm going to switch my brush and I'm going to use this Morphe G28. It's like a super, super tiny, precise brush and try to use this on my lower lash.
And then I'm going to go into Fishy, which is this other bright blue. This one does, I believe, have a slight shimmer in it. For the inner corner highlight, I'm going to go back in with Beat. Beat, I feel like it's definitely the showstopper in this palette. I wasn't really expecting that honestly. I was expecting one of like the bright colors to be like the the standout but to me Beat is definitely the standout of this palette. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some false lashes and then I will be right back with the finished look and my overall thoughts. Alright, so I'm back. I finished my makeup. I added some falsies. Normally, I wouldn't really do that on a day-to-day -day basis, but I feel like I have to be extra with this palette. So, I applied some false lashes, and they were just the Ardell Faux Mink uh, Style 811, and then applied some mascara, and for my lip, I'm wearing... <laughs> ColourPop Luxe Lipstick in Pinkies Up, and then over top, of course, I have to wear the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer in Unreal. So, that is that. This is the completed look. I am so happy with how this turned out. I don't really play with colors a lot. I've been really wanting to get back into that and, you know, actually exploring other options besides, you know, your everyday neutral palette. Overall, I am so, so, so happy with this palette. I love the variety of shades it has. I don't think I could ask for any more in this palette. And they blended so well together. I don't think any one shadow got lost in another one. Um, so you can still kind of see the yellow, you can see the pink, you can see the darker red, and then you can see the shimmer, the blues, everything just blended seamlessly together. I, I'm obsessed. I cannot wait to play with this more. I really want to maybe do another look with the more neutral side of the palette, just to give you an idea of two different looks that you can use. This is definitely a multi-use palette. You can do more colorful looks with this. You can do more neutral looks with it. Overall, I think it's stunning. And I think he did a fabulous job, especially this being his first launch for his makeup line. I definitely think this is a great palette to buy. It's only $45 for 14 shades. It comes with a brush. The brush wasn't bad either. Like I said, it wasn't my favorite brush I've ever used, but it definitely was not a bad brush. I overall definitely give this a thumbs up. I'm so happy with it. I don't think I can say that enough. I can't wait to play with it more, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this look. Alright, so that's it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure to comment down below if you do want me to do another tutorial using the more neutral side of the palette. Also, if you like these types of videos, if you want me to keep doing first impressions and tutorials, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps me out to know what to film for you guys. Also, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so, so grateful and I will see y'all next time. Bye. I do what they say I can't. They call me Cardi Body Banging Body Spicy Mommy Hot Tamale Hotter Than a Samali Fur Coat Ferrari Hotel Tonight
I am so excited. I just can't hide it. I just can't hide it. Uh, uh, mm, mm. 